Hi, my name is Lila and I'm the Mini Witch. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this week's video, we are talking about the best places to buy miniatures, including mass-produced models, boutiques, and independent sellers, as well as some brands I would love to try. Obviously, the tried and true regular is Reaper Miniatures. If you're looking for models in the 28mm scale, they probably have it. Fantasy, pulp noir, futuristic, monsters, whenever I'm looking for a new miniature, I always look here first. The two categories of Reaper Miniatures I use most frequently are their pewter models as well as their Bones Black line. The classic Bones Miniatures I usually just ignore. They're oftentimes flimsy and clunky, and the details can be pretty lackluster. And overall, I'm usually just disappointed. If you need some miniatures to fill out your troops and the quality doesn't matter, then Bones is great. But if you actually want to paint something worthwhile, I recommend looking elsewhere. I also highly recommend Reaper's paints. The paints are medium opaqueness and can reach full opacity in as little as two coats, They have almost any color you'll need, and the only reason they don't make up more of my paint supply is that I don't have room for more paint. The pricing is absolutely fantastic, and I always feel like I'm getting my money's worth. And the customer service is great. Next is Games Workshop. They have a sizable range of miniatures from futuristic sci-fi to Lord of the Rings style miniatures. All of their miniatures relate to their own tabletop games. Now to be fair, I don't play any of the GW games, so I can only comment on the miniatures from them that I have used. The only miniature from GW I have painted was this Vampire Lord that I used on my Story Roulette collaboration video you can watch here. The mini was beautifully sculpted and had amazing details like the flowers on her dress, the ripples of blood in her goblet, and it was all just beautiful. I would love to purchase more of the vampire miniatures specifically, but at $18 a pop, I think I'll buy vampires somewhere else. Since I talk about Reaper paints, it's only fair to talk about Games Workshop paints as well. I dislike Citadel paints. They are far too thick for me, and I only use the brown contrast paints occasionally, but their washes are definitely a staple in my arsenal. If your game store is anything like mine, it has an entire wall filled with WizKid. At first, I was absolutely thrilled. How exciting that my local game store had an entire display of new miniatures. I excitedly purchased some and took them home, amazed at the prices, only to open them and see why. The sculpts are chunky and blackish and sometimes are worse than Reaper's Miniatures Bone Classic line. So you might be wondering why I'm bothering to list them then. Well, my friend, it's because of their monsters. They have some really great and really affordable monsters. The Beholder, of course, is a crowd favorite, but they also have giants, trolls, even gargantuan dragons. The sculpts are a little basic and you won't be winning any awards, but if you need monsters for your D&D table, then I highly recommend WizKids. The second place I look for miniatures is Dark Sword. Focusing on fantasy miniatures, all of Dark Sword's miniatures are pewter. They have over 1,000 miniatures, starting with the classic half-elf paladin, a surprisingly wide range of fairies, and an entire and an entire line of anthropomorphized critters. The miniatures are dynamic and they have a wide range of poses. However, they can be a bit fragile, so be careful not to break swords from hands or things like that. Their customer service is also fantastic. I opened up one of my packages only to find that I was missing a tiny yet very important detail to one of my miniatures. 
I emailed them to request a replacement piece and they informed me that they were positive the piece I said was missing had been included because they hand check every package before they send it out. In the end, I did find the little piece that they said that I had, but the idea that they inspect every package was just amazing to me. I love Raging Heroes because they are all women. A 28 millimeter scale, all the miniatures are resin and highly detailed. The miniatures are like none I've ever seen before. They all appear to be from their own unique world. The atmosphere is sculpted into every miniature. These miniatures have an edge that make them stand out from the rest. They have several lines ranging from high fantasy, bronze age, post-apocalyptic, sci-fi, and even pirates. Every time I visit their website, I want to fill my cart. Unfortunately, they might all be women. Unfortunately, they might all be women, but they are also extremely fetishized. Awkward sexual poses, latex, and pointless armor with wasp weights and big boobs. They are also on the more expensive side, but for the artistry and quality, you get what you pay for. Lastly, they have a pretty detailed cleaning regime before you can begin painting them. I followed it and it was fine, but be aware that these minis supposedly require a lot of prep ahead of time. If you are looking for really unusual and detailed female models, I definitely recommend giving Raging Heroes a look. Just don't be surprised by the overtly sexual nature of their models. Hassle-free miniatures is interesting. They sell sci-fi and modern and post-apocalyptic miniatures in metal and resin. What makes them so different is that the variety of miniatures they offer, not in style, but the literal miniatures. When I ordered from them, I was surprised to receive options with my model. They came with two sets of weapons. They came with two sets of arms with two sets of weapons. I did not realize that, that was going to happen when I ordered them, and I thought it was really interesting. You can also see different sculpts of the same model. So if you want to level up your character as you are playing, so if you want to level up your character as you're playing, you have the miniatures with new and improved gear to do so. There are a few downsides. The resin is incredibly fragile, and I'm afraid I'm going to break these models if I put them in my case incorrectly. It also took forever to get here. They are located in Europe, and to ship to Illinois took over a month. I was starting to wonder if my package had gotten lost. I am, of course, displeased with the amount of topless women in comparison to fully clothed women, but their miniatures are high quality and unique enough for them to get a mention here. Lastly, I couldn't find a way to convert their prices to US dollars on their website, so I just added miniatures to my cart and hoped for the best. But if you want to support a small business and independent sculptor, I highly recommend Hassle-Free Miniatures. I found Brother Vinny through Pinterest. When I first looked at their website, I liked several of their sculpts but was suspicious. The cats were beautiful, but the website looked sketchy, especially with so many topless female miniatures. Add in the fact that they are from Russia, and I wasn't sure what I was getting into when I decided to order from them. However, I was pleasantly surprised when I received my package. As long as you're willing to wait, shipping took about three weeks. The miniatures I received were high quality, beautiful, and they looked exactly like the website. I ordered this Monster Hunter and Great Sword Girl, which I'm sure are totally original concepts and based on no one in particular. I also definitely did not see Princess Leia, Han Solo, the characters from Vikings, or any sort of karate turtles. So if you want unofficial miniatures from a movie or TV show, you might be in luck on Brother Vinny. The prices were fair, though again, not in US dollars, and overall I will definitely order from them again.
featured on some of the Instagram feeds of the best miniature painters, Terrible Kid Stuff is definitely a brand you've seen before, even if you've never heard of it. I'm not usually one to paint larger scale models, I usually just gravitate towards smaller ones. But when I saw the Golden Helm model, I knew I had to have it. I got it for myself as an early birthday present and I can't wait to start painting it. The sculpt is gorgeous and inspiring. I love that she looks like she is ready to lead a charge and how much story is sculpted into this miniature. The shipping was incredibly fast and they even sent artwork with the miniature. It was expensive, but for a limited edition run and my birthday, I think it was worth it. Now we are on to brands of miniatures I would love to try. These are brands that one day in the future I plan to order from, but that day has not yet come. Bold Miniatures has been on my list for quite a while. Because I'm obviously in love with well-clad female models, and Bold Miniatures does them well. There are so many small details on these sculpts, and I'm always in for a surprise. With unique accessories like bubblegum, sunglasses, and stuffed unicorns, these miniatures look like a joy to paint and to view. To continue on my enjoyment of well-clad female figures, Mersa Miniatures is another on my list. They have a huge range. Vikings, Grecian soldiers, fiends, devils, minotaurs, monsters, elephants, treants, and more. Apparently, these miniatures are for a game, but again, I've never heard of it. It's called Darklands, if that means anything to you. Some of the models on the websites are 3D renders, and I'm always suspicious of buying models when I've only seen the 3D renders. But there are enough photos of the actual miniatures that I feel confident enough to order from them one day. Lastly is Celestial Miniatures. These miniatures look like they came from some surreal fantasy. With the proper mixture of beauty and fear, I don't even mind how scantily clad these models are. Based on ancient Chinese mythology, the miniatures range in size from 54 to 104 millimeters tall. It is incredibly obvious that whoever sculpted these put love and passion into their work. Fin texture, eyelashes, scars, everything you could need has already been sculpted into these miniatures. Even better, each model comes with a unique story. I would die to paint the Twilight model but I just haven't budgeted for her yet. Maybe one day she will show up in my collection and that day will be a wonderful day. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that it was helpful to you. Are there any brands that you think that I miss or should take a look at? Do you agree or disagree with my ratings and reviews of these miniature brands? I love to hear from you. So subscribe, like, share, and comment down below with your favorite miniature brands or if you think that I was wrong somewhere in this video. If you would like to support me, you can do so by subscribing here on YouTube, following me on Instagram, following my Amazon affiliate links in the description down below, or of course, the best way would be to support me on Patreon. I hope that you're doing well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.